Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Unboxing NYC. My name is Olina and today we're gonna make with you this beautiful bracelet using the right angle technique, uh, beading technique, and uh, I use my beads from Darling Bead Box. So um, actually this is my second bracelet and this is how they both look together because those beads I receive in the Darling Bead Box, but definitely you can use any other beads. And uh, in my opinion, the stacking bracelets like this look really pretty, but of course you can make just one. It's up to you. So if you're ready to build with me today, let's get started. So for our project, we're gonna need following. We're gonna need for the first part, we're gonna first, we're gonna do this uh, right angle um, beading uh, part, let's say like that. And for this, we're gonna need our 8.0 seed bead. So you can see it 8.0. And I'm using the second pack that I got in the Darling bead box. And those two colors really amazing. But of course you're gonna, you can use whatever you have. And um, I'm using all, all, also this type of needles and this is bead smith. Uh, I bought it on, on Amazon. I'm gonna leave my link down below for that. And also I'm using this thread. But of course you can use whatever you want, but just in case you want to use the same, I again, I'm gonna leave my link down below for Amazon uh, for that. And when all supplies are ready, we're gonna walk our uh, thread through the needle. I already did it. And I want to secure my first bead. Usually I do it right away, no matter what project I do. So I just take the first bead and I walk it through my needle, through my thread almost to the end will fall apart so two more all right and now we will start to do the project let me just remove everything that we don't need for now i i poured a little bit of bead so i should be fine with this amount just to show you the beginning of the process so we start working with four beads we already have the first one which we secured so i'm walking my needle through that right here and now i'm taking three more beads one two three and now i have four beads on my uh thread and i'm gonna make a circle i'm gonna take my needle and again walk it through the first bead and the rest of the beads making a circle like that and of course you you can do it a few times to make your project uh look more you know more firm i would say like that Oops, sorry so we walk a few times the thread through the beads and this is what we're supposed to have. Give me one moment. I will remove my finger so you could see. So this is what we're supposed to have in our first row. Just four beads. For our second row, we're going to build up. So we already have one bead. This is my thread. And it's coming from this bead. I'm gonna take three more because I always need four beads. I already have one and I took three more and I'm walking it through the first one like that. Making a circle. And I like to walk it two times just, you know, to make my project look more firm. So this is where we are. I will show you when I will finish with my thread. So this is what we supposed to have. Okay. So this is our first bead and we, we and we're going to build up. Now I'm walking my uh, my needle through the second bead here. Now here we have already one, two. You see one, 
uh, initial bit and we have second one because if we lift this uh, first row, we're gonna have one, two. So we're gonna need two more beads. And I take my one and I take my two, two beads on the needle right now. I know it's very hard to see when it's just the beginning, but it is what it is. And now we have one, two, three, four. So we're walking our needle right here. Right here. And coming back to this initial bead. So this is what we're supposed to have. And now we're gonna move on. We already um, dressed this bead, we dressed this bead, now we're gonna dress this one. So we're moving our needle here. And again, we do the same thing, we take two beads because we already have two. So we have two beads, take them on the needle. And now we have one, which is initial one, one, two, three, and four will be right here. And we walk it again. And we're coming back to our initial bead, look like that. Okay, and now we have to dress our last bit because we have one, two, three sides. So now we walk our needle through our last bead in our first row right here. And this is where we are. This is where our bead went through. So now if you can see here, we have three sides. If we lift our project, we're gonna have three sides. Means that we have one, two, three beads. So we need just one bead. Let me show you. We walk our project to here. And it's gonna make one, two. And we need one more bead to make it uh, three. So, okay, here we, here we go again. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, and we already have four right here. We already have our one, two, three, and four. And we walk our needle right here. And we build our second row. I'm gonna make it a few times because I want my project to be firm and nice. So I'm keep walking one more time through this uh, row. It may be hard if you really beginner, but a little more practice will make it better, of course. So now we have our two rows and I will show you right now more closely. So this is our first row and this is, this is the first row and this is the second row, first, second. So this is our needle right here. Let me remove the tail so you would see it better. So here we go. We are right here. And you know what? I'm gonna cut the tail and we will continue because it's really annoying. <laughs> okay, here we go. So um, this will be the first bead, second, third four so we we created new row now we're gonna build up so we have one bead we need to take three more i took three more beads on my needle and i'm gonna make a circle so i'm coming back to my first one right here okay 
okay and again i want to walk one more time through through all my new raw just to make it look more beautiful and here we go This will be my first dressed bead of our second row. And I'm gonna move my needle to the second bead, right here, because now we build this wall, we're gonna build wall right here. <laughs> so here I have one, two, I need two more. So I'm taking my two beads. I took two beads on my needle and I'm walk them like that here my needle so I have already one two three and I'm coming back right there right there just created the the uh, second wall if you can say like that so we have first wall we have second wall let me walk one more time through all these beads And here we go. We're coming back from that second bead of our second row. Now we go to third bead. And again, first I'm walking my needle through my third bead. And oh, sorry. And I'm gonna create a wall right near that bead. Okay, here we go. Again, here I already have two beads. I have one, two, I need two more. So I'm taking my two beads right here on my needle and I'm just walking them like that. One, two, I will stop and you could see. And I will make the second circle just to, again, to secure my work and make it more firm. So I'm just walking my needle through all beads again. And coming back from our initial third bead. So we created three walls. Now we're gonna make fourth wall. So we walk through the bead for the fourth bead of that row, right? It's gonna be our first one. And we move in here. And now you can see already that we have three beads. One, two, three. So we're gonna make, we're gonna add just one more. So I'm taking my needle. like that and I'm going to add just one bead and I'm gonna come back to those beads and to finish my circle here we go you can see we all we built all four walls and now we created new row so what i'm gonna do just again you know walk through all the beads i'm gonna do it every time so i'm not going to repeat it And now I'm leading my thread to new row, like that. 
And now again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna build up next row. So how many beads we're gonna take in the beginning? We don't have anything. We need three beads. So I'm gonna take three beads. Like that. And I'm starting my first wall right here. Now I'm moving up, I'm moving aside, I'm sorry, and I'm building second wall. We have one, two, I'm gonna take three, four beads. Okay, here we go, my two beads here, and I'm gonna walk them like that. So second wall is done. Third wall. I have one, two beads. I'm gonna take three, four. And then walk my beads, making a circle like that. Okay, and now I'm right here and I need just one bead because this is my last wall, my fourth wall. So I'm walking my needle through this bead uh, first. And now I can clearly see that I need just one bead because I have one, two, three already. So I'm walking my needle through the second one. Like that. And I'm adding one more bead. Here we go. My one bead. And I'm closing that circle like that. And now you already can see better this uh, project. You're gonna see how it is. Let me just uh, walk one more time through my last row like that. Okay, here we go. So this is what we supposed to have for now. And now I'm gonna do two more rows, uh, two more rows, but I'm not gonna explain anymore. I'm basically will do the same. Maybe it will be better for you just to watch without, you know, without me talking. So let's try like that.
All right, I hope it was, it became more clear for you. So we keep going with this technique until we finish, um, I don't know, this tube is 10 grams. So, okay, until we finish 10 grams of 8OC bead and uh, we're supposed to have something like that. You see how these two colors are beautiful together? I really like it. So I will see you in the end of this uh, beading uh, part. <laughs> Now, when we're done our lengths, let's just talk about this. So, if we look at my ready bracelet, so the total length is uh, eight and a half inches because I have a bad, big <laughs> wrist. Uh, so, depend on your wrist, um, what I try to say. So, the beaten part uh, of my uh, bracelet is a six inch because you have to calculate how much uh, will be going to your closure so depend on which closure you're gonna use you will try to calculate your so my closure will take about two inches i would say one inch and a half so just keep it in mind when you will be uh measuring your beading part so i would say uh whatever your wrist is minus inch and a half or even two inches. So this is uh, what is your beading part length of the bracelet will be. Okay, so now it's time to put our closure. On the end, I decided to use this um, Tibetan style beads, but you can use whatever you have. You can um, take even round uh, spacers or whatever you want. And uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as you have something in your stash, which is matching, this is really what important. And I decided to put toggle clasp here because um, I want something different and I want to show you another way. So I need two uh, jump rings and one toggle clasp and two beads that will be on the end of the project. So uh, before we started to do the closure, I just want to, to tell you a few things. First of all, with this bracelet, uh, or, or you can, of course, use toggle clasp, whatever clasp, whatever closure you want. It honestly doesn't matter. But I made a mistake because when I did my um, beading part, I just put everything to the beading wire and uh, I really don't like the result. I really will repair it. But I just wanted to show you um, because you, it's uh, stretchable. You see your beading part, if you touch it, you will understand it's stretchable. And when it's in a wire, it look really ugly. So I definitely will repair this bracelet. But you see, this is how we learn. Just wanted to show you my mistake. So we're gonna do this closure different way. I already have a vision how to do it. So I definitely will show you because this is what we're gonna do right now. And another thing that I wanted to point, uh, when you, uh, when you thread a, like need to be extended, I usually just put three knots. I know it's look not very good, but it's really sturdy. It's like, uh, I mean, I always do this. And then I just cut the ends when time will come. So, okay, when we finished our beading uh, project, your, your thread will go from some of the beads. Let's say mine is right here, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, let me put it aside. I'm gonna take my, a bead that will be in the end walking through the needle and now I decided to take two jump rings because it's a thin it's a teeny tiny uh, thread so I don't want any accidents I just want to protect my project so I used two uh, jump rings you can use one but you know it can really uh, run away from you and then when we put our uh, last bead when we put our uh, two jump rings we come in back so we take our needle and we go back again through that last bead and this is the bead uh, we, we, we came from this is you see right here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through this bead again I hope you can see it and I'm gonna walk my needle to second bead. Here we go. And 
and this is what I'm receiving for now. Now I am in my second bead right here. And again, I'm walking my needle backwards through my last bead here. The idea that you have to walk your thread through all four beads. Now, here I am and I want to, to take my two jump rings. So, okay, let me show you. My needle and my thread go from that side. So I'm walking my needle through my jump rings and now I'm coming back towards my beading part, like that. Sorry guys, like that. And I understand that I worked with this two, two beads, one and two. And I'm coming back to my second bead and I'm walking to my third bead right here. Again, if you cannot see really clearly what I'm doing, the idea that you have to walk your needle through all four beads, back and forth. And again, I'm taking my needle and I'm going back through my last bead towards my jump rings. Like that. And I'm going through my jump rings. And now I will walk my needle down towards, what is that? <laughs> my needle down towards my, uh, my beading part to here. All right, and now I left with one bead to go and I'm walking my needle through this last bead, my fourth one, like that. And again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm walking all my project upwards towards my jump rings, like that. and through my jump rings. And going down. Like that. And now as you can see, all four beads we're walking through that uh, last bead, and now it will keep the project in place. It's not gonna move and it's gonna be steady. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk a little bit in my beading part, just to secure my project. And also idea is I have to go backwards to that side. So you can just play around with your beads, walking your needle through your project. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you're getting to other side, this is more important. You can go this way. You see what I'm doing? I'm just walking with my needle towards that end. Okay. And now when I walked my, uh, my needle and thread through the whole my bracelet, here we go, and now we're gonna walk with other side of the bracelet. So again, the same thing. I'm I'm going with my needle, sorry guys, through the bead, and but this time I'm gonna go through the toggle clasp because I already, uh, I mean, uh, through the lobster because from my other side I already have my jump rings, so I want to create the closure. So again, I'm walking through the uh, through the uh, closure. And I'm coming back to my beading part like that. And I'm going to my second bead. 
and again when I'm on my second bead I'm going up through my last bead and I want to walk my needle through the closure like that and I'm coming down and I'm going towards my third bead I'm going up and I want to walk my needle and my thread through my through my lobster like that coming back and I have one bead to go so I'm coming down and I'm going to my last bead like here here we go and again I want to make sure that I'm going up and I'm going through my closure like that and coming down all right so basically we're done the only thing that left is just to secure that needle so i'm again i'm gonna walk a little bit through my beads like that like that and since it's invisible needle i can make a loop it will not gonna make a big deal but it will help me to secure my thread to make my project study and again i'm walking through as many beads as I as I can until my thread will be over and in couple more places I, I want to make loops just to secure my project and this is how the bracelet look like when we finish that so in my opinion it just look gorgeous and you see here it's pretty tight nothing is you know uh, going anywhere so you know in my opinion this is just I, I don't know, I cannot say perfect, but this is really good. And I decided to end up with a chain extension for this bracelet. Of course, you can put, as I said, any closure you want, but the bracelet look like that. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider to subscribe to my channel. I will see you shortly in my next one. Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye.